Hey, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com. I hope you're having a really good day. I have been really enjoying this No Woman, No Cry fingerstyle instrumental, which I'm really excited to share for you today. I'm going to break it down part at a time, show you the fingerstyle melody. Uh, you can grab the tab to this. It's completely for free. You can just grab it from joining my website, uh, the student area. It's LearnGuitarInLondon.com forward slash student area. I've left a link in the video and a link in the video description so you can guys can play along with me I'll be taking you through it systematically bar by bar from that tab uh, let's get started and learning how to play this great song these are the four first four notes in the song now because we're dealing with finger style the thumb plays the top three strings so if ever I say thumb uh, it's going to mean playing the top three strings I like to use the sort of traditional finger style rule of um, thumb on top three Index finger on G, middle finger on B, and ring finger on E. So we've got thumb, 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 index, middle, ring. Okay? So, starting the song, it's all thumb. It's third fret on the thickest string. I like to use my ring finger for that. Open on the A string. Second fret on the A string. And then third fret again, where we started. If I say the names of the strings, it's just because I find that easier than using string numbers because it gets confusing talking about fret numbers and string numbers. So the names of the strings are E, A, D, G, B, E. Eddie, eight, dynamite, good, by Eddie. I hope we're all clear and on the same uh, path when it comes to terminology, right? So that's the beginning. Hopefully you've got the tab. We're now moving into bar two. So if you make yourself a C chord, you're halfway there. So with your C chord, you're going to lay that down, fret 3 on the A string and index finger on fret 1 on the B being the most important that we need here. Thumb on the bass note of the A string, index, middle, index. Then second fret on the A string, you can let go of the rest of your chord and do the same picking pattern. So that's A string, G, B, G. So. Good. into the next bar so you'll do very well if you can make an A minor for this that would be great so put your index finger on fret 1 on the B string and middle and ring on the second fret on the D and G string okay that makes your A minor play the bass note of A minor which is the A string so that's um, second string down then index middle and then if you can bring your thumb over like a Hendrix grip we call this to hold down fret one. Okay, now the other way you could do it if you're a bit more of a beginner and you don't like that, I guess would be, so it'd have to be, well you'd have to do it that way around actually, index finger on the top, you could do that. But try this Hendrix grip chord. So you play the bass note on the thickest string, then index middle index, and that's one and two and three and four into the next bar. Go back to your C chord like we had earlier in bar two. Pick it the same picking pattern, so that's thumb, index, middle, index. Then you've got a little bass line, descending bass line. So ring finger on fret three on the D, second middle finger on fret two on the same string, then open on that string, then three on the A string. So we're going F, E, F, E, D, C. Then we're going to go index, middle, index, before repeating on the, just like the beginning. Okay, so that bar again is. Okay, so that, that part is the same as what we've already learned. So the first bits, that's three, zero, two, three. Notice how I'm trying to keep a rule of my index finger on fret one, middle finger on fret two, and ring finger on fret three. Most of the time, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the perfect time to summarize. And what actually happens in the song, and I didn't do this in my performance just to keep the video shorter, but uh, is that you repeat. So you go back to bar two. Hendrix grip, round your A minor, C, little run. And then you'd repeat, 
which I'm not going to do, but that's what you do. So well done. That's bars one to five. Let's push on and look at the next. I'll do the next bar for you. Okay, so this is where that really classic melody comes in. It sounds really nice. So you're going to start again with your C chord. The song is in the key of C, so that's why we're using it a lot. So we're going to make your C chord, and we're going to be thumb on the A, thumb on D, middle finger on the B string, then thumb on the D. Good, that's half the bar done. Then move your middle finger up to fret 2 on the A string. You're going to do a pinch, which means pulling two strings at the same time. In this case, it's thumb on the, on the 2 and open on the B string. Then fret 1 on the B then let go on fret one on the B. So you've got zero, one, zero, then two on the G. Now you may be thinking, well Drew, why aren't you moving your middle finger down to do that too? Why are you using your ring? The simple reason being, in finger style, we try to want to make the bass notes ring as long as possible. So if I let go with this, it would stop that bass note. We need to let that keep ringing, ideally. So that's what we do. You can go... I mean, it's not going to make a difference, but you just don't have that lovely ringing B string, okay? Good, let's look at the next bar. So this is actually very similar to the bar directly above. It's just slightly different fretting. So you keep round your A minor again. That's a good basis for this. So we go open on A, second fret on D, then open on E, then first fret on E. And I like to use the Hendrix grip, but you could do that. Then index, middle, index. So it's. And the count there is one and two and three and four and. Okay. So those two bars together, six and seven. Good. Let's have a listen to eight and nine. Well, there should be something familiar there at the end of nine, because we've done it, that would be the fourth time we've done it, which is the three, zero, two, three. Okay, but anyway, coming back, this is bar eight. So once again, if you keep it based around your C chord, you're gonna do well. You don't need to put all the fingers down of the C, but leaving the ring on fret three on the A string is really good practice in this song. So thumb on that note, index on the open G, ring on the open G, index on open on the open E, sorry, ring back on open G. Then drop your ring finger down to the D string on fret three, put your index on fret one on the thinner string. So it's like a C chord, but everything's moved down. Pinch the D and the E string, then let go off the thinnest D and play that open. Then use pinky to do three on the B and then make your C shape again. So it's... And we're going to hold that into the next bar. Then there's a bit of picking over this C chord. You do need the middle finger down for it. Thumb on D, open on G, thumb on D, before going back to three, zero, two, three. So this is eight and nine, very slowly. And then you'd repeat back to six, which summarizes what we've just learnt. Okay, good. Doing well. Hope you're still staying with me so far. Very good. Going into 10 and 11. Here we go. Okay, so the rhythm's starting to change a little bit, but let's look at this. So once again, on our C note, third fret on the A string, giving that a strike, open on G, two opens on the thinner string. Good, then come back to our second fret on the A string and pinky, I prefer pinky for this, on the third fret on the thinner string. Pinch those two notes, then play the pinky on fret three by itself, then let go with pinky to go open on the E string and then open on the G string. Okay, so 
so here we go, turn again. Okay, good. Next, into 11. Okay, so we've suddenly got a lot more notes, a few 16th beats here. So we're playing open on the A string and ring finger on the thinner string. So you're going to pinch and then do three more zeros on the thinner string. So one, two, three, four, or count it as one E and a, then two on the D, first fret on the B, and then move the two down to the D string, G string, and bring the thumb over to the Hendrix grip. Then we're going to play that bass note again, the thicker string, then third fret on the D. Okay, let's do the next two bars. Okay, so once again, like much of this song does, starting on fret three on the A string, playing that with your thumb, then index finger on open G, and then four zeros on the thinner string, no pinch this time. One and two E and a. Two and three on the A and the B string, pinch that, play them together, then play open thinner string, then open on G, and then open on B. So you will have to lift up that pinky once you've done with it. That's great, okay? Into bar 13. So fret three on the B string, pinching the A string as well. Then fret one, notice I've got my index finger prepared for that. Then two on the G, sorry, on the D. Then open on thicker string, first fret. And I like to use the Hendrix thing with the thumb over, gripping tight on the instrument, gripping over with the palm, not tight, but just over with the palm. Then we've got three on the D string, two on the D string, open on the D string. Okay, good. So this is bars 13 and 14. Okay, so right off the bat, we're back on the open A string and third fret on the B string, and we're gonna pinch those two. Then first fret on the B string, playing that. Then second fret on the D. Then open on E. And then Hendrix grip over with the thumb for one on the E. And then two threes on the D string. Then open on the D. So it's... Okay, and then next we're going to move into based on a C chord, so third fret on the A string. So playing that note, then open G, and then four, quite quick succession, 16th beats with the ring finger on the open E. Okay, and then into the next half of the bar, second fret on the A string, then third fret on the E string, Trying to leave the middle finger down while you do that. Then open on E, then first fret. So that whole bar. Good, 15 and 16, here we go. Okay, so we're on third fret on the thinner string with the open A string as a pinch, then open E on it by itself, then first fret on B, then scooting over to the thickest string with the thumb as an open, and then the Hendrix coming over for first fret. Then open on G, then first fret on B and third fret on B. Good. 
good, 16, third fret on the A string to make the C note, playing that, open G, two open E's of the thinner string, second fret again on the A string, doing a pinch with the open E, open E again, first fret on open E, then on, on E, and then open on E. So, those two bars. Okay, good stuff. Let's look at the next two bars, 17 and 18. Okay, so 17, third fret on the A string, on the B string, sorry, pinching with the A string as well. Then first fret on the B, second fret on the D, open on the thickest string, first fret with Hendrix grip over, and then two threes on the D string, then open on that same string. So that bar slowly. Good, into 18, C chord this time will help you through this. So play the A string, the open G, the B, the open E. So you're just basically picking down your C chord. Then move your middle finger up to fret two on the A string and pinky finger on fret three on the thinnest. Pinching those two, then three again, then three again, and then lifting up to do an open string. Okay. Okay, good. Next two bars. Okay, so we're first fret on the B string this time with bar 19. We're pinching the A string and the B string. Then third fret on the E string twice and then open on that string. Then Hendrix Griggs a thumb over, holding down the one on the E and the B string. Then playing the thickest string by itself with that one, then open on A and then second fret on A. So that bar. Then into your C chord, which you're gonna pick down like we did in bar 18. And then second fret on the A string, third fret on the B string. As a pinch, open on G, first fret on B, then open on E. Okay, and now let's go into 21 and 22, here we go. Okay, so with this, we're making your A minor chord. We're gonna play the A string, second G string, and middle finger on B string to give that two and one. Then we've got a little bass line here, so we're gonna go open on thickest, First fret, I like to continue using my thumb with this, but you could use index finger if you wanted to. Striking that twice, then open on A, then second fret. Good so far. Into bar 22, third fret on the A string. Open on thinnest, then try to use your pinky finger on third fret on the thinnest. And leave the pinky finger there, bring the middle finger over to fret two on the A string to pinch those two, that two and three. Then open on E, open on G, and open on E. So it's... Okay, so 22. This is 21. Into 22. Okay, and 23 and 24, here we go. Okay, so for this, we're third fret on the thinnest string, playing the open A string as a pinch, pulling two strings together. Then let go off the thinnest string, and as soon as you've let go, put it back, and then let go again. So we've got three, zero, three, zero, 
Hendrix over, thumb on thickest string, index finger on one, pulling those two strings, one on the B string, then open on A, then the one again on thickest, then open on A. Good, making your C chord, doing the arpeggio down that we've done a few times, so that's A, G, B, E, and then second fret on the A string, third fret on the B string, pinching those two. Open on thinnest, first fret on thinnest, open, okay? So at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to recap <clears throat> and take us back to bar 10, okay, where the repeat symbol is there in the music. And we're just gonna play through up to that point before we go into the second page. Here we go. Okay, good. So now we're moving on to that second page and we're nearly getting through the song. So this is bar 25 and 26. Okay, so we're open on the A string and the B string this time, giving that a pinch. Then first fret on the B, then second fret on the D, then open on thickest. First fret on thickest with the thumb over, like I said before. Third fret on D, open on A, second on A. Let's do that slowly. Into your C chord, this time playing the A string and the D string and the middle finger on the B and then the thumb back on the D. So a slightly different arpeggio or picked of the C chord. However, what is familiar is coming to the second fret on the A string, doing the pinch on the open B. First fret on the B, then two more open strings on the B string. So we've got and just 26. Okay, now let's go into 27 and 28. Okay, so we're on the home straight now. So you're gonna make it, I like an A minor for this because it's kind. It's ba definitely based on an A minor. So it's second fret on the G and the D string and then the index finger on the first fret, although you don't really need it on the B string. Playing the open A string and second fret on the G as a pinch, so that's thumb and index finger on your picking hand. Then thumb on the D string. Open on the thickest string, thumb over with Hendrix on one. Okay, now leaving that, so this is where the A minor is useful here. Put the index finger down on the B string, you do need it, my mistake. Then G, B, G, giving you two, one, two. Okay. Then into your C chord, third fret on the A string, open on G, open on E, open on G. And first fret on the thinnest string, third fret on the D string, make an F chord, pinching those two strings that you're holding down, then thinnest string open, third fret with the pinky finger on the B string, and then coming back to your C chord, the three and the one, you don't necessarily need the middle finger, well you do actually for the next bar. <clears throat> so let's do 28 slowly. And this is 27 and 28 slowly. And 
just a little side note on 27. This is the first time the rhythm is tied, what we call. So the rhythm here, it's a bit longer when you do the Hendrix note, the first fret on the in the E. So we go one and two and three and four and. So we hold over into three. One and two and three and four and. And also the same with this pinch holds over into the next bar. So that's four and one and two and three and four and. So that's the next couple of bars, 29 and 30. I need to do it from the pinch before. Okay, so we have, we're into this C, we're holding it into 29, then we're going thumb on the D, open on the G, thumb on the D, and we're doing that familiar bass line that we've learned a lot now, so third fret, open, second, three, then into our C chord again, going down from the A string, G string, B string, pinky on third fret on thinnest, on the third fret, then second fret like normal on the A string that normally happens here, pinching that with the D, G string, and then first fret on the B, while that's ringing preferably, and that's two ones on the thinnest string, and then pinky finger on the three. So bar 30 is, and one more time, and 31, here we go, my mistake, sorry, and this is 32. Okay, so last little bit, last little bit of kind of newish fretting as well. So. The way that I like to approach this chord is it's like a D minor seven. So you're gonna press down the bottom two strings with your index finger, pressing them down like a bar chord, and then second fret with either the ring or the middle finger on the G string. And you're gonna play the open A first, then that second fret that you're holding down with the middle finger, then the two ones that the index finger's in charge of. And then keeping index finger on one, ring finger coming over to three on the D string and you're pinching that, so it's... Then open on A twice, then second fret. So it's... And then finally, we're into our C chord. Okay, so this is third fret on the A, open on the G, open on the E, open on the G, and moving the ring finger down to the the third fret on the D string, and index finger on fret one on the E string to give an F, then open <coughs> on the thinnest, excuse me, then third fret on the B, and then you're doing your C chord again. And this is just what we've played before. And then you would repeat all the way back to bar 10 at that point, and play all the way through, skipping out Bar, 30, bar 32 and 33, coming to the ending to finish the song off, okay? I really hope you've enjoyed that. It's been a pleasure to teach that to you. Keep on playing and see you again soon.